In this episode of Ed's Retro Geek Out, the geeks head out to Zwolle RetroCon in the Netherlands to meet up with the NAS Commando. Sounds like a bad horn. Sassy conversations and Zoo. Looking exactly yeah. like yeah. you. Right. Can you. Rude. Yeah, can you. Ooh. And Ed adds another game that was high on the want list. And I've actually been looking for this one for the longest time. It's another Sunday, and on this particular Sunday, we're waking up early, not just to see the sunrise, but we're actually heading over to Holland, and not just crossing the border, we're actually going all the way up to the very end of Holland, all the way into the top over there. So it's a long drive, yeah, a freaking long drive. But the sunrise was pretty okay. So we arrived at Zwolle, we're gonna try meeting up with any Eskimander right now, and then trying to get in. How was the journey? Boring. <laughs> yeah, it was freaking boring. It was it was still dark when we left, but you know, it's a three hour drive, so <laughs> we better get some games out of this. Yes. We get to the venue where the video game show is about to go down, and I don't see Marcel or Dennis anywhere. Apparently they're still in the parking lot, so it's a parking lot meetup. We head over there and we immediately start chatting around, and then we're trying to figure out, hey, how are we all going to get in? So, this is how we're trying to get in. We're just carrying boxes and uh, <laughs> pretending like it's all normal, so... Yeah. <laughs> I guess it will work out, right? So now that we're in before the massive crowd is about to come in, because there is already a line forming outside over here, we want to go over the vendor floor. They're still setting up, but hey, now we can actually look around and see all this stuff before it gets too freaking crowded. So me and my buddy are checking out this one stand that has a lot of NTSC games, NES and SNES NTSC games. Now I see two NES games I really need. <laughs> so I see two NES games I really need and I go for them, of course, because the prices are pretty good. Yeah, we're trying to get these games over here. Um, what can you do? <laughs> I know it's not a big amount or anything, but... Uh, I can make it 20. 20? All right, that's good. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, man. So we got Pictionary for the NES. We got Target Renegade. Wasn't sure if I had this, but the cover doesn't seem familiar. And Renzo got Eye of the Beholder with a really cool cover. 20 euros for all of it. It's good. <laughs> all right, two NES games for the collection. It's actually pretty fun having NES Commando around over here at this convention, but there's too many games. I mean, we're mainly focused on looking for games than we are with really, you know, talking to each other. However, I find out something new about Dennis. He's apparently into cassette tapes or something. Are you, like, seriously interested in that, or...? Mm, not in these games, but uh, I collect... Uh, Some other ones. I collect childhood games oh, okay. from C64, yeah. but um, among these there is no childhood game. So. Oh, okay. But you played that? Yeah, Back in the day? Yeah. Okay. No, I get that. You know, games you had in your childhood, that's the stuff you want to collect for, even if it's cassettes for the Commodore or Amiga. I don't know, whatever it was. Other than that, I'm checking out some toys on card over here. They're still in the box, so I'm going to have to wait for the guy to really unpack all of his stuff. When I headed back over there, it was just Fantastic Four stuff, which was pretty cool, but I'm mainly looking for those figurines loose so I can, you know display them not play with them but display them when you're grown up you display and when you're a child you play with your toys now you display as a 30 year old still buying toys yeah holy frig guys this is a big convention there's like multiple rooms that are just filled with stands it's kind of crazy usually it's like one big hall, but here it's multiple halls, just... I'm actually loving the layout of this convention over here. There's multiple rooms, not just one big room. And yeah, the crowd is starting to come in and it's getting 
packed pretty quickly so we're gonna have to move a bit faster to get all of these stands done now Dennis and Marcel aren't the only Germans over here there's some more Germans that came over and they brought gifts Good. And you? <laughs> You're fine? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're here with Crazy Chris from Germany. He hopped over to Holland too today. How was your drive? Oh, it's easy. Yeah. Uh, two hours. Two hours, okay. We two hundred kilometers. Okay, we also had to drive two and a half hours, so it's pretty good. There's a lot of rooms here, right? Yeah. yeah. Damn, it's a big convention. So, so I have some figurines for you. I don't know if you have it. Uh, I I don't have this one. Yeah. Street shark. Oh, <laughs> cool. Ace duck. I I have Ace duck complete. So. Yeah. 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 Okay. It would be it would be weird taking it from you. I, I'm also not going to yeah. do any customizations. Uh, also have Casey oh, Jones. Uh, yeah. And that's Rat King. I also have that okay. one. Yeah, I have those complete. So cool, <laughs> but it's cool. You found them at the flea market or something? Yeah, at the flea market. 50 oh. cents a piece. 50 cents. How much do you want for it? Mm, nothing. It's, Not, it's a gift. It's a gift? Oh my god. Thanks so much, man. Good work. Oh, thanks so much. He's looking pretty cool. I mean, he's kind of dirty, but... He's looking exactly yeah. like yeah. you. It's, a, it's a rough condition. Can you... Can you Rude. Yeah, can, you, can you imitate the, the fa facial expression more? Okay, yeah, all right, I, I get it. I, I look just as badass as yeah, this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, but uh, thanks so much, Chris, okay. for this gift in. Yeah, hopefully you find some good stuff today. Oh, I hope so. All right, cool. <laughs> We're here with... Bjorn. Bjorn, uh, a friend from Marcel and Dennis, and... Uh, but you bring, you brought over some mm -hmm. some DVDs. Yeah, oh, cool. I don't actually own any of those, so <laughs> that's always cool. But yeah, it's that, season one and season two of the Batman animated series. Oh, that's like and, the really um, good season. One of the animated movies, Mystery of Batman. Yeah. Okay, of I know like the the Mystery Mask of, of Batman. Of Batman. Yeah. It sounds like a bad porn, but well, <laughs> it's not. It's definitely not. <laughs> okay, you you double check if it's not a porn, yes. right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's just thought you might like that. And, how much do you want for them? No. It's a kid. Oh, okay. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Damn, man. That's cool. Awesome. So yeah, Crazy Chris and Bjorn, thank you so much for the stuff you brought. It's all going into the collection and I love it. Thanks so much, guys. All right, so next up we head over to a stand. My buddy sees Mermaids of the Atlantis, or is that what it's called? I'm not sure. It's the mermaid game that's kind of like Hot Slots. But he goes over there, he's like, oh, this is actually a pretty good price. The game can go up to 150 euros over here, and it's marked here at 75. You can't seem to find anything to bundle it up because bundling up allows you to get the price down. We move over to the next stand, and what do you know, another Mermaids of Atlantis, also 75. And I start looking around, I'm trying to find something so I can help my buddy out because he really wants this game. And what do I see? I see Pirates of Blackwater. Now this is an NES 16-bit beat-em-up game. Awesome, it's based on a cartoon. And I've actually been looking for this one for the longest time. So I head over there. I see it's 55, which is reasonable. Sometimes you'll see it over here for like 80 euros or something. I'm thinking if we get the bundle up this thing over here, we might get a good price out of this. I think 16-bit beat-em-ups is definitely one of the genres I'm most into, you know. Final Fights, the Streets of Rage series, Turtles in Time, stuff like that. And over here, I find another one that's also a co-op multiplayer. So we start talking to the uh, vendor over at Game Boys, who we've already worked with in the past. I know they're okay doing the haggle, so I head over there. What's the best, what's the best price you can do? He counts it out and it ends up being like 130 euros for both of them. He comes back with 120, so I say, will you take 110? And almost like two seconds later, he's like, yeah, that's all right. So, it's all right. We were over here at Game Boy's boot uh, over at the Swallow Retro convention, and Renzo got Mermaids of Atlantis, which is like hot slots, hot slots. But um, 
um, without the nudity. And uh, I found Pirates of Dark Water, a beat em up, a 16 bit beat em up, so I'm always into that. It's based on a cartoon by Hanna Barbera, and it's a cool beat em up for 55. We got them to go down to 110 for these, so that's a 20 euro discount that can go to some other games. And yeah, I'm happy. Are you happy? I'm happy. All right, awesome. So now we already went around the whole convention one time. I did see an NES controller I'm really into, so I'm gonna check it out what the price is on that one, because I'm missing this one boxed for my collection. So you're asking 30 on it? How low can you go though? <laughs> <laughs> an offer? I was gonna say 20 and then you're gonna come back with 25 so let's just end that 25 <laughs> that's great yeah all right thank you so much <laughs> all right so an NES Max in the box not the best J box but hey I'm not complaining um, the uh, the original commercial for this made something about that the uh, controller thing I don't Turbo B, cycloid controller. A-OK. -okay. Cycloid controller? <laughs> Did they really think this was gonna sell? The swiveling cycloid button. So, I don't know. I never played with this one, so we're gonna test it out later and uh, see what the cycloid button is all about. Jack came over here too, uh, from Super Gabby Games. We had already made a deal there. And uh, let's see what I got from him. Uh, unfortunately, he had to leave early so we can really film it with him. But I got some Game Gear games over here. So, And what did we get for Game Gear? I got Fatal Fury, one that's a bit harder to get. Um, we got X-Men Legacy. That's the sequel to the other X-Men game on Game Gear. I got Dynamite Hetty. I got the first X-Men game. <laughs> I haven't played any of these two yet, but uh, it's X-Men, so I need to get it. Then we have Sonic Blast, or Sonic game I was missing for my Game Gear collection, so I had to grab it. And lastly, we got Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. I haven't played any of these games, but hey, uh, they're going into the collection. What else did I get from Jack? He hooked me up with some turtle stuff. <laughs> so this is a wind-up toy from Tommy, uh, Leonardo's Pizza Vault. I love the artwork on this blister thing right here. And he also threw in some pencils for free. So some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mechanical pencils. These are freaking awesome. So thanks so much, Jack. And yeah, I got my turtle fix for today. And then at the end, at the very end, we're talking to Marcel and Dennis, and Marcel says like, hey, I still have a package for you. It's from Tobias. So let's check it out. Six months ago. <laughs> so hey, I've got something for you. Oh, really? Yes. Found this. I don't know if I need it. <laughs> but it was cheap. The, because, <laughs> it was... because of the um, uh, language code. I'm not oh, sure okay. if, if this it's is the, the correct one. code I need, okay. but uh, it was 10 euros, so Ooh. it was good. So this is... I am the delivery man. Wow. Really? For yeah. my buddy? This is for <laughs> my <Bundy>. buddy Ed to... <laughs> Ed from, from Toby. You want to open it up now? Yes, I, open it up now. I mean... Now. Now? I've got now. this. Open it now. You're just the commander curious. Of the yeah, curious yeah. about what's in it. Okay. I, I have it with me for... And the 500 kilometers. And the commander of the it. Just one, no, okay. one no, you have to comply. Citizen, nothing, nothing in. There's gonna be nothing in it? <laughs> you already checked it, you sealed it again. We already took awesome. out the good things. <laughs> All right, awesome. He, he's opening it with a flick, I don't know if the English word is the same, but it's a flick drum. A flick drum, no, a pick, it's just called a pick. A pick, a pick, pick. <laughs> a plick drum. A plick drum. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in here, yeah, let's guys. See what's in it. Are you guys gonna be jealous if it's really good? Yes, no. No? Okay. Yeah. Right. Ooh. Oh, damn, it even came with a letter. letter. Wow. Ooh, let's read that thing over here. Um, Dennis, would you like to assist a little Thank bit? Fine. <laughs> okay. Um, howdy, Ed. I packed a few small things for you. I hope you like them. I do not tell you what it is. You could see it unpacking. Please record only after... Un please read this part only after unpacking. Okay. Okay, so, so it's, a, two, it's a two-parter. All right. Let's see, guys. 
What's in here? Let's uh, check it it's out. It's a box full of paper. Nice. Nice. I needed paper in my life. Maybe it's Nintendo cardboard paper. Ooh! Mm. It's a pretty cool wow. big box ALF uh, cool VHS. German movie. <laughs> Their nice. face. Hey, so that, I don't have the Dutch one either, so... Uh, it, it the German <laughs> will get better after watching it. Ow. He, he eats like cats and stuff, right? Yeah. Ooh! Now, this is freaking amazing. <gasps> this is a little cassette tape from Turtles. It's also in German, but apparently in Germany, it's much more common to get these, actually. Because mm -hmm. you have like He-Man yeah. mask, everything. We don't have it. Okay. Yeah, I it's, see it's them really on weird. Market. Yeah, but I don't have any of these, so thanks so much. <laughs> oh my god. Um, what else is in here? Let's check it out. Um, so Toby actually knows what you like. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, for a Game Boy. That's awesome. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure he he just uh, printed it himself. Yeah, yeah, I know. He, he, he does work with like 3D printers and stuff. Yeah. And in green, because it's like turtles. Total green. <laughs> awesome. Oh, man. Oh, there's more. Ooh. Just a professional one. How freaking cool is that? That's awesome. It's like a display for turtles, and it even has turtles imprinted in it. And, and, wow. and the tiles. The so tiles are... That's freaking gorgeous, man. That's really nice work. And there's some eggs in here. <laughs> some eggs. Some, uh, some Ed's eggs. <laughs> so some of these uh, sur Kinder Surprise eggs that are like... Um, bolts. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, and that's a Splinter. So they're probably Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones. I hope that a dino in one of them will be a dinosaur. Yeah. A dinosaur <laughs> with a game in its mouth? <laughs> yeah. Mit Kartoffeln. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll open all of these up um, and then show you everything that's in there. So these are actually forbidden in the USA because they have candy inside. They have toys inside toys of the can inside. again. Yeah. Oh, Alf the Movie in Germany on VHS, Turtles Volume 3 in Germany on mini cassette. Then five uh, TMNT figurines from the, you know, surprise eggs. Uberasos? Eggs? Kinder surprise surprise eggs? eggs? Okay, I like that. And then a display stand for a Game Boy Color, which we saw. That was awesome. And in the same color, one for a TMNT figure, which was also crazy awesome. P.S. This has been translated by Google. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it, it was pretty okay. I mean, I watch your channel translated by Google with all the horny stuff you guys <laughs> mentioned. <laughs> Thanks so much for meeting up today. We didn't get to talk too much, but I mean, we had an okay time, I guess. Yeah, Next time I'll come over the night before so we can actually hang. Yeah. Um, so did you have a great time at the convention yes, today? Yes. How, how awesome, was it? Yeah. It was awesome? Yeah. And uh, Good location and a um, lot of different vendors with a right. lot of different stuff than what from what we see usually in Germany okay so that's always a good time here <laughs> so you have to watch the ALF movie okay so German gets better and better and okay I'll maybe one day we can conversate can, can conversate uh, make an interview completely in German yeah we can try that should be good for my mediocre content <laughs> 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 so uh, see you guys later bye <laughs> hopefully we'll meet the guys from NES Commando again somewhere in Germany because we're taking this show on the road internationally in 2019 guys thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye oh. did you get it on tape yeah, of course oh so yeah. you guys can check it out on their channel definitely yeah, sexy trunk action <laughs> Yeah, sexy trunk action. Horny so trunk action. Definitely <laughs> check it out. Like this, I can follow you. Wolltest du noch etwas sagen? Oder uh, hast du eigentlich alles gesagt, was du dir vorgestellt hast? Vorher? Du hast alles gesagt und uh, du hast viele Games geguckt. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>